In the meantime, we turn to the economy tonight into this crippling strike. Tens of thousands of union dock workers up and down the East Coast and the Gulf walking off the job, threatening the nation's supply chain, and of course then, the prices you could potentially pay. Elizabeth Schulze from New Jersey again tonight. Tonight, crucial ports that fuel the American economy from New England to the Gulf Coast at a standstill after tens of thousands of union dock workers walked off the job. The International Longshoremen's Association and the U.S. Maritime Alliance failing to reach a deal, leaving ships sitting offshore in Texas and shipping containers at some of the busiest hubs in the U.S. idle just weeks before the holiday season. The impasse could cost the U.S. billions of dollars a day and drive up consumer prices. Experts say for every day the strike lasts, it could take nearly a week to clear the backlog. Under the old contract, a dock worker could earn a typical salary of $100,000 per year. The union wants to boost pay to $177,000 annually over six years and add protections against automated machines. Jacqueline Velos is a single mother working at the docks in New Jersey. Her three little girls joining her on the picket line. Everything that comes into this country comes in through us. The supply that everyone, everyone receives daily, it comes through us. And we're not appreciated. Ahead of this strike, we have already seen major retailers like Walmart and Costco divert some of their shipments to ports on the West Coast to avoid shortages during the holidays. David. Elizabeth Schulze back with us tonight. Elizabeth, thank you.